Hello, this is Kiss Baloo. Last time, we trekked through the puzzles of Anos Sanctum. And we've ro reached the end. Which is where this will take us. Now that we're here, we only have one thing left to do. With a very different synergy lay layout, it should be said. Incidentally, this is what my layout looks like right now. It's it's gonna get interesting. This is basically the most broken layout I know. Because I don't expect to last long enough to do anything else, basically. The only other thing that might work against this guy is the firewall granite um, shade combo that I showed against the Star Magician. However, that is that is iffy at best. Uh, also, uh, no, that's actually, well, I mean, I'm not moving people around. This is how I want it. Shiba needs to be on the corner because she's going to take the most damage here. And she has the lowest HP. My HP is so much lower now on everyone because I have base classes. And for that matter, because most of my Jinli are unset. It is really important that I have people where they will take the least amount of damage. I am the Shadow, the Keeper of Light. If you want the sun's power, show me your own! It's Dolahan. So here's how this is gonna go. Uh... Wait, that doesn't quite add up. I thought I... No, I... obviously not. We're gonna do this. On... Actually, I'm not sure who the optimal target is. Just a sec. Uh... It might be you. It might be... Isaac. Isaac, incidentally, has the Soul Blade right now. Felix has the Gaia Blade, because I want his elemental earth power as high as I absolutely possibly can get it. You have that and that. So, okay, this guy takes, is most resistant to earth, no, sorry, that's not true. He's most resistant to water, and he's least resistant to wind. Like, he's weak against wind, but he's actually strong against water, not earth. This is important, because our strongest summon is earth-based. And our second strongest summon is air-based. <laughs> Uh, having said that, I think, I mean, I need to use Kite, but I think you're probably the best choice. You are going to summon Charon. You are going to use Granite. You are going to, I could have had more Ginny set on you, actually. I could have used a few more on this round. This was actually a little bit suboptimal, to be honest. I should have better accounted for that. Uh, having said that, probably Serpent Fume. Uh, unless... Let's see. Oh, right, that's why I had the numbers the way they are. Okay, that's correct. You are actually just going to summon Meteor. Like so. And he will probably not kill us this turn. Yeah, I could have done this a little bit more efficiently, actually, with my Ginny layout. But... Which is actually a big deal against this guy. Every little, every tiny little bit counts. But I got the important part set up the way, the right way. So yeah, we just did 3,000 damage. That accounts for about a fifth of his HP. He has, I want to say, 1,500 HP, more than anything else in the game.
Now, I want to stress, if I make this look easy, because the, the possibility of that exists, it will be only because I completely cheese this the most cheesy way I know how. And Isaac's dead. But he got off his summon, so it's fine. Now I'm going to summon Catastrophe. And I am also going to summon Charon again with Felix. Doing it this way is important because he Felix just got a massive boost to his Earth power from the first time around. And because he's going next, I use Course to revive Isaac. Jenna is doing, well, nothing. Uh, because her summons are about to be used. So, actually, no, she's not doing nothing. She's using Flash to hopefully keep my people alive one more turn. Except for Isaac, Isaac's totally gonna die again. It's going to happen. But the more Ginny I have on my A team, the more Ginny I have on standby, the better. Because if they're killed with the Ginny on standby, then the team then the B team can use that Ginny. This is going to be really important. I'm basically going to do nothing that is not either a summon or using a Ginny. I have dealt at this point, uh, let's call that 7,000 damage. Out of, so I have, that's about half. Okay, that's great. Because that's a dead move for him. And this Charon will do significantly more damage than the first one. Which is really important. I would run out of mom If it wasn't for that, that extra damage, I would have run out of moment. Well, that wasn't actually... No, use break! I lost my power boost! Shit. Okay, I need to do at least 5,000 more damage. Um. Okay. Well, Isaac's not actually dead yet somehow. That's kind of amazing. Let's see. Uh, I could actually use the trite on him. That's actually kind of hilarious to me, but no, don't do something stupid like that. If you can use a Ginny, you should usually use a Ginny. As previously stated, uh, use Ragnarok and use Corona. Because the more Ginny I have on standby, the better. Uh, actually, no, go back. You, actually, no, I still want you to use Flower. But you are going to use Zagan, and you are going to use Corona. Zagan will not deal nearly as much damage as some of this other shit I've been pulling. But... But, it is still summoned, and his HP is so stupidly high that it should still deal a decent amount of damage. I mean, 500. For his defenses, that's actually not bad. And every little bit will count. Ah uh, man, don't, don't curse me, that is just the worst. I mean, realist, Shiba might actually be dead in four rounds, so it's not that bad, but... Do that, uh... Do... Vine? Actually, that might be worthwhile. Uh... Zap... Hmm... Wait. Venom is bad. So, use... Zagan! And use... I mean, sure, why not? Actually, I should heal. Isaac. So... I don't have a genie that can heal him. So... I guess I'll use Potent Cure. I mean, it's the best move here, and you can use Mega Rock. This is better anyway, because Jenna is significantly faster than Isaac. And I boost attack power either way, actually. 
Although, the attack power boost, I don't really care about. The, su the damage of the summon itself is more significant. And what? Oh, I forgot about that. Right, so he's not using my Ginny to do this. He just sort of is an asshole who can do this. This is probably gonna kill me. I mean, just straight up. And if it doesn't, he still has at least one more action. Uh, yep. But on the bright side, because he wiped out my party, well, he's out of uses now. Um, okay, so I want to use Catastrophe and Eclipse. I can't do- I can do two Eclipse or one Catastrophe. I'm thinking two Eclipse is probably better. So that's the one I'm going to go for. I am going to use Shade. I am going to summon... Well, no. Uh, I'm going to summon Elise as a bunch. But... I don't know if this actually affects my B-team or not. My money is on not. Uh, this is actually not bad, though. And... You are going to summon Ulysses. Because Ulysses is fire-based. Okay, I still need to do at least 4,000 damage. Uh, I can cut that in- I can effectively cut that in half now. I think we're gonna ma unless I got his HP values wrong, which is totally possible, I think we're gonna make it. Wait, did I just increase resistance by mistake? Whoops, that was actually not worthwhile at all. Okay, if I got his HP right, then one more round should kill him. One, use Eclipse again, use, uh, just use whatever you bloody can. Uh, actually that one is really wise. Use Double Elysees. And hopefully it pans out. <laughs> And, you know, I've managed to do this without him using Ginny Storm. Oh shit, he's still alive. So, he had more HP than I thought. At this point, that is clear. Which is bad. But, okay, killing Ivan is actually fine, because he's not doing any more summoning. I mean, it's maybe not a- killing anyone is not ideal, but maybe it's 18,000 HP then? That's possible. Uh, okay, still alive. We're good. If it's 18,000, then it's still really close to that. I know it's not over 20,000. Yes! One more turn and I would have probably been dead. But we did it! We did it! And only three people got experience from it, but I don't care, because we did it! Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Just, uh... Um, okay, who... Ivan has it. Give this to... Sure, why not? And then he can you cast... Revive! On everyone. So that I don't get killed if I take two steps and end up having to fight a monster. Okay. And let's actually change this around. Uh... I mean... I'll put it back to how I had it before, but... 
I don't remember if it was like this or the other way around, but anyway. I'm gonna need to rearrange all my Junie again, but I'm gonna do that off screen after I'm done here. No, for being Durlahan, we get one prize and one prize only. Access to the final summon. The power of the sun. The power of... Iris, which is actually not really all that great. I mean, Iris is the most powerful Ginny, or Ginny is the most powerful summon, but it requires 13 Ginny, and it's fire-based, meaning that it is actually not effective against the boss of the game, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but we are going to use it for as a sort of, uh, I mean, frankly, it would be a lot more useful for Durlahan than anything else, because Iris also revives your entire party when you summon it. It heals and revives it, which includes your B-team. So what you can do is you can set up your back row so that it can summon Iris immediately when you switch to it. And if you do that, then once they die, you can go back to this team, which is pretty good. But also kind of not useful because the only boss you can actually use that against is the boss of the game, which, whilst very difficult, is not as hard as the thing we just beat. On the other hand, I will probably try to fight it without choosing it like I did Durlahan. So, you know, we'll see. Like, that'll actually probably be a longer, harder fight just because I'm not going to cheese it with the summon strat that was specifically designed to beat it. Um, having said that, I think we're done here. So, let's, let's GGFO. Oh, I'm so glad that worked on the first try. Like, there was a real possibility there that it would still kill me anyway, and I would need to do it again. Although, once I got started, with those numbers, it was pretty clear that it was doable with my current party, meaning I would meaning I would not have had to grind my level up more. Which was a, which was actually on the table for me. So, you know, I'm glad that didn't come up. But yeah, it's worth mentioning, I killed it before it got the chance to use Ginny Storm. This whole strategy sort of hinged on killing it before A, it killed me with Charon and bullshit like that, and B, it did not use Ginny Storm, because there, I was totally unprepared to deal with Ginny Storm. There, frankly, I would have needed at least another 5 and probably another 10 levels before even, before I personally even stood a chance against Durlahan without spamming summons like I did. There are other people I know who could probably do it at around 45, but I, in the 40 to 45 range, but I can't. Um, having, having said that, we only have one more place to go, and that is the far north. The return once more to Prox, and the Mars Lighthouse, where we, where we will well, where, where we'll light it. We'll be doing that next episode. Uh, but until then, until then, I'm going to stop off here. So join me for that. And have a great day. Bye.